the woman who helped shape Montana State University into what it is today is stepping down. After 15 long years, President Wadad Cruzado has announced her retirement. We will build together an even better and stronger Montana State University. I'm really sad about it. She was really welcoming when we first got here, and so it's going to be really hard to not have her next year. I asked some Montana State students how they felt about President Cruzado retiring. Most students expressed their sadness, but when I asked Sully, a student that's worked closely with President Cruzado in the past, her aura was just powerful and it radiated off of her and it sort of rubbed off on me in a sense to show me that if she can accomplish big things then maybe I can. And Cruzado hasn't only inspired the students of Montana State. I think all leaders hope to leave their institutions better off when they depart than when they arrived and that's no doubt been the case in President Cruzado's tenure. Eric Austin is the head of political science at Montana State. He's been with the university for almost 20 years and remembers when Cruzado was first inaugurated in 2010. I'm profoundly honored with the opportunity to serve Montana State University. Since then, we are not just a, a national caliber, but a world caliber university. Under Cruzado's leadership, Montana State has set records in nearly every major university metric. MSU has seen student enrollment steadily climb by 33%, making MSU the largest university in the state with nearly 17,000 students. Since 2010, research at MSU has also grown more than 133%, from 98.5 million in 2009 to a record-setting $230 million in 2023. Another accomplishment, and maybe her greatest legacy, President Cruzado's involvement with land grants. With more than $600 million in completed or under construction projects in the last 15 years. And these numbers all speak to the work she put into the university. But Eric Austin, having worked closely with her for the last 15 years, tells me the type of person she is. One of the first things she did was, you know, went by department by department to meet with the faculty. It at one point I reached out to her kind of on a whim to say, hey, would you be willing to come talk about leadership at the university with my graduate students? And I heard back in about five minutes that she would love to come in and talk. And although President Cruzado isn't actually stepping down until June of 2025, students say the next president will have some pretty big shoes to fill. We have a really good school, but I hope it doesn't change too much because I think President Cruzado did a really good job of making it a good place to be. In Bozeman, Cassidy Powers, MTN News.